good morning guys welcome to today today we are in a jungle look at the jungle of a farm isn't that terrible i think that is what is contributing to the bugs that we have if you look closely you may see a gabby too a jungle with the gabby there's a whole entire story about how that jungle is still here after a year and a half I will tell you later in the vlog. But good morning. Welcome to today. I have to tell you that I've suffered the same fate as Sophie. I have two bug bites on my neck. They must be deer flies, maybe. I don't know what they are, but we are. I've never had a season like this. I have bug bites all over me. Not as bad as Sophie, but the ones on my neck literally are making me feel sick. I, if I move my head too much, I get dizzy. Like, they, it's just disgusting. I've never had effects from a bug bite like this before ever. Anyways, um, something crazy has happened, and I wanted to tell you guys, some of you won't care, but um, I have always been a reader. I've told you guys before, I am a connoisseur of books. Not as much lately. I probably only read about four books a month right now, but in the past, I used to read a lot. Every night before I go to bed, I end the day reading books. And I had three boys, and one of them reads and he doesn't read like me he doesn't like collect books and fall in love with books and fall in love with authors and um but he does read and he does enjoy books a lot um so then when i had the girls i was like oh maybe one of them will love books i love passing on my books i collect books like i want to share my love of books with somebody and neither of my girls really got into it both of them loved books and being read to as children and they still love being read to um i read stories in our homeschool every single day we do read together um, and uh, back in the day when Gabby was a baby and I was worried that, you know, I would not have any kids that, any girls that loved books like I did, I dreamed that Gabby was going to be a reader, that she was going to love books, and yet she never did. And then I chalked that up to being in a whole different age. When I was a kid, that was like really my only outlet, but nowadays there's like anything you want on the internet, any game you want to play, you're never bored enough to like pick up a book and read. But... Recently, Gabby has really been bitten by the reading book, and today I uh, is the very first time um, that I downloaded a reading app on her phone for her, and I sent her a bunch of e books that I loved that are like teen, um, y uh, young adult books that she is really into. She's been reading the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass, and I read those books and I had them and I sent them to her phone and she's like excited and yeah it's exciting for me it might not be a big deal but it's like one of the real first things that I can pass on to her my love of books and one big thing that we can share horses and books are my things that I can share with my girls and it's exciting in the past she's always said that she doesn't want to read on her phone but today I was explaining to her that reading on your phone can be really beneficial because when the girls were little I would go out shopping or pick them up from preschool or whatever I would do. Like clockwork, they would always fall asleep five minutes from home. So I'd pull into my driveway and they'd just been, been asleep for five minutes and I would never want to inter interrupt their nap. So I would roll down the windows and I would lean my seat back in the car and I'd have my phone with me and I would just read. So yeah, I'm excited to share this new adventure with her. If you love books and you read young adult, um, comment below what your favorite book is. Horses are all out having yummy breakfast. Got the girls down there. It's Sam in the truck. It's a Sam day. Sam is home today. Seriously, eaten alive by the bugs. I'm insanely itchy. Have you have any bug bites, Sam? Yeah, bugs. yeah. Oh man, it is the worst year for bugs. I've never experienced this before, ever. We are headed out to do more trailer stuff. Leave the girls at home. Oh, my favorite thing to do is our daily coffee run. Even though I don't actually drink coffee anymore, I always get something there, and mm, it's a my favorite. So if you wanted to come and skip her schoolwork because she likes the coffee ring too, but I made her stay home. Gotta get that schoolwork done. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous to go outside. That's how bad the bugs have been. Bringing home the swing. There's a lot to do to take our trailer out. It would've just been easier to just put a new one in there. Worry about it another year. But we are not those kind of people. We are the kind of people that hit things head on. Yeah, that's not us. <laughs> not us at all. But I always do say that don't put off till tomorrow what you can do today because if you do, tomorrow will rain always. Every single time I put off one thing till tomorrow, then tomorrow rains and then I have to do it in the rain. So don't ever put off what you can do today for tomorrow. We are home. Every morning when I wake up, I fix all 
these cushions so the couch looks kind of cute. I did this, put this nice and cute. I put this nice and cute and then I come home and they're always a big huge mess, every single one of them. And we always have stuff chewed up. That's a highlighter chewed up. Hmm, who could have done that? Where is your puppy? I don't know, right there. She was not here, I didn't see her at all. Look. She's probably on the couch, yeah. Oh yeah, we had to take that away. You didn't take it away, it was on the couch. I didn't know that she had it. I saw the cap, I took the cap away, but like. This morning I came downstairs. It's getting dark out, you guys. It's gonna rain. This morning I came downstairs and there were dog toys from one end of the couch all the way around. Every cushion had dog toys on it. Come Molly. Molly. You have to say last card. So Do you have to say last card to oh, yes. pick up eight after. She didn't say last card. Oh, pick up eight. Uh, so the girls are playing cards for homeschool. It's one of the things I actually allow them to do. Lots of learning in car I cards. I almost went to five to eight. Did you finish your writing? No. Did I you finish? Right did you finish your I my elephant learning? Elephant learning. Oh, I got hiccups. So I showed you guys that I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put these bricks in the garden, and also we brought this owl home from the trailer. I'm thinking that this owl might scare away the snakes. I also am in love with these flowers that popped up this year. Here they are on this side of the garden. I like all of these flowers. So pretty. Somebody asked me the other day if Gabby was eating grass. Yeah, because in the video, it looked like she was eating grass. She had long, grassy-like stems, and she was eating them. In the garden, we are growing something called chives. It looks like grass, but it's actually like an onion. Gabby and Sophie eat them all the time and they're disgusting. The reason that they're disgusting is because once they eat them, they smell like, it's kind of like a garlicky onion smell. It's terrible. They eat them all the time. I'm going to cut them right out of the garden. I can't even hardly stand to be with them after they eat them, but they love them. So I brought my swing down here. Almost done emptying the truck and the girls just showed up. They have impeccable timing. In the mornings, I clean the house when Sam's home and him and the girls go down and do chores. And I swear, they don't come back up until they know that all the all the house chores are gonna be done. No, we have to wait for an hour down here so that we can put the geldings in the field. Yeah. We have Dalmatians in the field. Okay, let's go. You want a Dalmatian? Yeah. Hi, Mo. So, Molly has some bad habits. So, one of her bad habits is that we used to be really excited every time she'd come running up to us. You'd be like, oh, Molly, and we get no, excited. Mom taught her mom how to jump did it. into our I arms. Ta I taught her. She jumps on children. Yeah, like. And you let her take food out of your hands so roughly that no. I had to tell her no. No, so uh, it's true. I taught her to jump into my arms because it was exciting and I knew that I would have to train it out of her after but now she has now she does this new thing where you'll be just sitting there minding your own business and then all of a sudden out of nowhere whoosh right across the head she just yes, launches she her body heads. yes she loves heads like whoosh right into her head and the worst time is when you're like sitting there and you're eating and all of a sudden out of nowhere whoosh into your head me Gabby yeah. and dad are going to Timmy's but we will fix that you guys are gonna go to Tim Hortons? Is that why you guys showed up? <laughs> so, there was some drama. There was some drama. There was some drama. And it was a big parenting drama mistake. And this is what happened. So uh, basically what happened is the Sam and I were going to the trailer, I already told you, and the girls know that we always stop at Tim Hortons and get coffee. So Sophie said, hey dad, if I give you money, will you buy me a hot chocolate? And he said, yeah, sure, of course. If they come with us, Sam that always buys them a drink. But today they weren't coming with us, so he said he wasn't gonna buy them a drink. And she said, if I give you money, will you buy me one? But then nobody told Gabby that this was happening. Nobody said, hey Gabby, Sophie's oh, paying for her own drink. Would you like? I heard her. Would you like us to? Uh, uh, would you like to pay for your own drink and I'll bring it back? No. Two and he said, "Pay for it yourself." I'm like, nah. Mom. Oh, well, then why was I mad at your dad? Because he didn't buy me one because I wasn't there and I didn't want to hand him my money because he would have bought everybody all of it. All right. So the drama is. Games. Extra small will fit my kitten. So the drama was. It fit Molly. Look at her leg. It fits her leg. It, so the drama was so that we really went to Tim Hortons and somehow Sam came back with a drink for Sophie but not Mommy for Gabby. Fits. Yeah, that little Chihuahua sweater that would fit Toby or Macy. No, it fit my kid. 
Oh, Sophie, are you really getting a kitten? Yeah. It's Molly's leg. I Can like the orange him? calico. Do you guys want to see him? He was born two days ago. That's him. The Can orange you one. send me a photo of um Sophie's new kitten? So obviously the boy is likely, or the orange is likely a boy, and the calico is likely a girl. Well, if it's a girl, it's because be usually. Usually, three colored cats are girls and orange kid cats are usually boys. Look at it. Sometimes, boy, orange cats are girls. So. I found rhubarb. Is this rhubarb? It's either rhubarb or a weed. It's either rhubarb. It looks like rhubarb. I've been wanting robot rhubarb. Hi, girlies. Don't, don't try and scare anybody. I know. So Sam is taking the girls back into town, which actually is quite the drive, so that Gabby can get her drink. I feel overridden with junk right now. Like this thing, Sam wanted to buy it, and so we bought it. Sometimes I need to know, I need to say no better. Believe it or not, I'm really good at getting rid of stuff and not keeping too much stuff. And like, I used to have rules about if something new comes into our house, then something old has to leave. Uh, Sam is not that kind of person though. He does not like to to get rid of stuff. He likes to keep stuff, sentimental value. And I'm a uh, get rid of it, buy it again if I need it later kind of person. But something has to be done and I need to like really get on cleaning up our property. I think it's the grass that's making me feel overwhelmed because before the grass erupted and exploded, um, I don't know, maybe it's the horse poop too. At the risk of this being like the most depressing vlog ever, the worst thing ever just happened to me. So I got this garden I'm mostly set up and I'm very happy with it, at least this half of it. You guys know that there have been snakes in this garden in the past, but I conquered my fear. Started over here and I pulled up some grass. <laughs> Jeez Louise. And literally a snake came out oh, and went over my foot. Let's see if I can find it. Let's not see if I can find it. Somebody was talking about how this is super invasive, these plants in here. That's okay. One day really soon, Sam's gonna be out here. He's gonna finish this chicken coop and all that brush like that is so perfect for them. They are gonna love it. They're gonna think it's the best thing that ever happened to them. They will take care of it so fast. Hello! Do you like how nice the garden looks on that side? With the stones? It's all right. Well, I started doing this side and a huge snake came right at me. <laughs> no, it's not funny, so I need help. Really? You find a snake when Jacob wants to? It was a massive snake. Came, crawled over my foot. I cannot believe you guys didn't hear me screaming. Any kind of snake is a bad snake, Gabby. What? It's not going to come back. It is going to come back. It, it just moved back. down. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations, oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And that, my friends, is why she loves that horse. Not because he's bigger, not because he's better, not because he's cuter, not because he can do more for her, but because he is such a nice horse and he loves her. Did you throw hay for the girls? No. So, what do you think about Bye. Chino? What do you think about Chino following you everywhere? 
He just wants the hate. He no, he it. even yes, probably should. He wants the alfalfa hate thing. Okay. The alfalfa hate. The small stuff. But then he waits for you to leave before he leaves, Gabby. I'm really still put out by that snake. I've been trying to get the rest of it done. I want that side done. It's going to rain soon. And I need to get it done before the Don't rain. Bite. But the snake, the snake. Oh gosh, what is happening? Okay, so this is what happens. The minute Sophie and I sit down here and Gabby does all the work. <laughs> That's too much hay. That's not two flakes. How pretty Gracie looks now. She's clean. Doesn't she look pretty? Totally different Look horse. Willow. Willow looks gorgeous too. Do you not care about Willow? All right, you guys, this is my masterpiece for supper. It is shepherd's pie. It is cheesy and crispy on the top, just like I love it. Sam was out cutting the grass all day, broke both tractors. Broke the lawn tractor and the other tractor. And when he came home, he said, what's for supper? And I told him, he said, oh, I was having the worst day. And thank goodness we're having a good supper. I feel so free Oh my sweet baby And I think to myself